There's been a lot of optimism about the future of healthcare technology, in part accelerated by the pandemic. But you, we've also seen some of these companies like Cerebral, um, a string of other companies that have had layoffs coupled with this downturn. How optimistic or how bright is the future really? Bottom line is, I'm still incredibly bullish, as are we at Lux. Healthcare is fundamentally recession proof. Mm -hmm. Human health will always continue to be a big sector. Humans are not going anywhere anytime soon. We'll continue to give birth, we'll continue to get sick, and we'll continue to die. And while the pandemic may have accelerated growth in certain areas, it's also sort of opened up a watershed of opportunity for the key stakeholders in the industry who but have no choice but to undergo a digital transformation. How is the downturn impacting the industry, impacting valuations? You know, I'm, I'm sure companies are struggling under the pressure of this. Absolutely. There's no denying we are not immune from the macro at all. And certainly health tech in particular, given it is very services oriented, is, is keenly affected by it, particularly at the later stage. So we're seeing there's still a massive influx of funds that venture funds are raising focused on healthcare. In fact, SVB just released a report this morning uh, documenting that, and I think it's on track to be the third highest year of venture fundraising in history. There has been a slowdown in terms of dollars deployed towards healthcare. So it's the later stage companies in particular that will see it's not quite the fundraising environment of 2021. Apple just came out with, unique for Apple, a 60-page report detailing its role in the health tech industry. Is Apple going to own this industry as a device maker and an operating system? You know, this has always been a big question for healthcare IT. Is it going to be Apple? Is it going to be Google? What role does Facebook play? I think it's no denying, and especially now with the Apple Watches that we're all wearing, that there is a massive consumer trust in Apple and iOS, and that it will be very interesting to see how providers actually step up to integrating this data with their EMRs. I think if they can bridge that gap, there could be something very interesting And there. last, you know, and I know this isn't necessarily a quick question, but obviously the, the overturning of Roe versus Wade, how does that change, you know, where you're thinking about putting your money and your view on, on this industry? So well, you, important to you, women's health. You know, uh, of course, we've been long-term investors in women's health, and fundamentally, women's health is population health. This overturning has been a very sad moment, not just for women, but for all of us. And it's also been a moment where employers are stepping up to the table, where we've seen major companies taking stands, uh, funding the the care of women to, to cross state lines if they need to, to to receive the care that we need. One of our companies, Maven Clinic, is already serving nearly half of the Fortune 15 companies, and they've actually seen an increase month over month in terms of the inbound sales opportunities for companies who want to do more for their women and for their families, who want to address the maternal health crisis that we face in this country, where women today are 50% more likely to die in childbirth than our mothers before us. And that's three to four X if you're a black or a woman of color.